Hello commanders. We're going to do a little bit of trading um, between New Dawn Station in Robigo and our current location in Brunel Hub at um, Cios. This is normally a passenger hub for passenger missions but occasionally we can make some profits if we run some uh, materials and trade back and forth between Robigo uh, factions and similar factions that uh, will begin to pay out more and more uh, per run. So we're just going to head over to New Dawn Station, uh, but first we wanted to check out what would be the most profitable thing we could put into our cargo hold at the moment. And the best way to do that, um, unless you're going to go to Elite Dangerous Database, which is a much better way to do it, to use the game uh, strategy, you hit the compare button and uh, you would go to search the market and type in the system that you want to go to Robigo uh, and select New Dawn Station uh, and we'll apply that as soon as we locate New Dawn Robigo Mines this is, all these small numbers are uh, I guess there isn't a New Dawn on this Ticker area. Haulers. Yeah. So we'll just pick the last one and hit apply. And then uh, we go up and uh, let's see. Well, shoot, it, it, it bombed out on us. Uh, there's New Dawn. Suggested market. And then we hit apply. Uh, so if we sell it at New Dawn Station, which is uh, located in the uh, Robigo system, I believe. We should we should go check that. It might be in the CIA system. Control Q out to the galaxy and uh, type in Robigo. Sometimes these stations get uh, a little bit confusing. Select the star. Like the system map, and we're looking for New Dawn Station. Rubigo Mines. Houses Reach. Suratanovich's legacy. Now, New Dawn is probably in the CS system, so that's just not going to help us uh, with our objective. So, we're going to look for Robigo Mines and our uh, market search. Compare suggested mines, system search market, Robigo. Going to look for the mines. Should be right there. There it is. Hit apply. And so when we do a comparison, we're going to go up and down this uh, right hand column. The profit is, is uh, sold at Rubigo Mines for this particular commodity. So we look for the one that makes the greatest profit for each ton. Looks like 810. 810 and then we check the quantity uh, which is advanced medicines so we should make 810 per ton um, we got room for 160 tons so we'll select that and hit the D key so we fill it up with 160 tons go down and buy it not a whole lot 145,000 but remember we're gonna make about 800 that 160. And this is the best we can do uh, forcing a run over to Robigo because what we want to do is start a trade between the factions uh, and get some trade missions going uh, that uh, gain favor. And uh, so our cargo capacity is full now. Uh, we're taking advanced medicines from Brunel Hub to Robigo Mines in the Robigo system. 
and uh, we can pop out of this now and see if that holds true when we actually get there. We're in a Python at the moment and uh, we've got basically three cargo holds full uh, of capability plus a couple of collector limpets, about 32 collector limpets. We'll just exit out of this. Uh, there aren't any missions that I could find uh, to Rubigo. So we want to go to Rubigo and do start the missions from there. Check to make sure that our route has been set. No route's been set so far. So we um, go to the system map. Oops. We want to go to control Q to the galaxy map. My mistake. Control Q. G for galaxy. And uh, go up to the root plotter. Type in Rubigo. Hit the little search tab. This used to be a really popular route that could make you a lot of money, but it doesn't uh, pan out much anymore unless you get the factions uh, on your side. A lot of friendly factions, and they start giving out um, gold or platinum or some other type of a shipment. So there's where Beagle Mines. We'll select that and uh, then plot the route. We can use a bookmark also uh, to select it if we wish. So now we've got a route plan. And uh, normally it would check to see if we can make it, but it's pretty much a short hop over there. See how many hops it is. Three jumps, not a big deal. And, um, go back to the center. We don't have any auto, um, uh, auto land or auto takeoff capability on this Python. We could put some in, but uh, it does help us avoid any illegal trade that we might be doing, but right now we're not doing any illegal trading. Biggest issue is just going to be avoiding pirates trying to interdict us on the way over. So we're launching. Remember to hit Control R to go up, Control F to go down. No, it's a R button, up, F button, down. The rest of it's Control button. Joystick. I always enjoy this part. The launch is always cool. Sideways here. I overshot that. And we'll put some forward velocity in. hitting tab for a little bit of thrust. Four pips on the engines, two pips on systems. And we're ready to jump. Remember it's three jumps. Class M star we're jumping to so we can refuel there if we wish. If you really need to, we got plenty of fuel to jump three jumps. Basically divide that white bar over there on the right under fuel. Divide that by three and got enough to basically six jumps without refueling. Time. We might scoop a little bit of fuel along the way. We do want to make sure the discovery scanner is in the analysis slot. Pull away. Again, we don't have the automated uh, hyperspace or the super cruise uh, assist module. We'll just um, hit our discovery scanner with the uh, joystick 2 button. Pocket. And uh, pull away from the sun, make sure it turns from red to yellow, and you can jump again. Again, another G star in this case. G's are relatively large stars, it's a white yellow star. Remember KGB phone is the acronym for which stars you can that KGB F O A M uh, type stars refuel. 
never mm -hmm. had out into space unless you have a refueling scoop, fuel scoop. Just asking for uh, an opportunity to learn about the fuel routes. It happens quite often with new commanders heading out with sidewinders. They risk doing a lot of sidewinders. On the system again. There's Robigo, our third junk. Wait till the sun turns from red. Yellow. I always thought that sounds like friendship drive. Friendship instead of frame shift. <laughs> kind of like friendship. Friendship drive. Commanders have said in videos in the past. It's really about the community. It's about the community. Personally, I found it quite difficult to get with the community. Um, maybe it's my own fault for not trying harder to join the community group. Uh, special uh, groups, private groups. Yeah, they tend to be in the learning mode most of the time anyway. So now we're going to look for our system, the Beagle 9. Go to uh, panel 1, look at the transactions. Uh, those are being with mine, so we want to hit the D key to go over, and the S key to go down. Select the vegan mines and notice it's got a little uh, little tab there that indicates that you've got a mission lock on it. We just unlocked it. So the lock of the vegan mines, go forward. Again, look at the radar. The little white dot is solid. We want to approach uh, Rubigo mines at the fastest speed possible. We'll get the discovery scanner for a second. Uh, they might count down as we get there. As soon as it hits uh, 12 seconds to 10 seconds, we're going to uh, hit joystick 6, and that's going to drop our throttle down automatically to 75%, and we're going to cruise in at 75%. Typically, um, that's the fastest we can actually cruise in and not make mistakes. It should stay somewhere between uh, 6 and 9, 7 to 6 and 7 seconds, depending on the gravity well. It's around our destination. Uh, yep, there's that discovery scanner kicking off as we get close enough to identify it automatically to discover it. And those will all show up in our first navigation panel one, navigation panel. Notice as we're coming clicking down, it's uh, six seconds uh, away to the bigger mines. And look at the distance and speed marker on the left hand side. When those go into the blue, our, uh, our J notification to jump out of uh, super cruise space will pop up on the screen and we'll hit J to jump out to the station itself. Typically that happens as soon as you get to one, uh, uh, one uh, whatever that mileage thing is, and then that comes out to be, uh, and we'll get ready to hit the J bar here. Almost the speed and distance uh, markers in the blue, the J, if you were being pursued by a pirate, this is actually the quickest way to avoid interdiction. Uh, you don't give the pirate any opportunity to catch up with you or try again to evade uh, the you know, super cruise interdiction. You're pretty much good to go once you hit that 75% throttle. You can't catch up with you. So we're going to slow down for a second, go to panel one, uh, hit E, go to contacts, E to request docking, hit space bar. And uh, it's telling us to go to pad 5. These are large pads. Fortunately, uh, for our Python, Python can land on medium pads. Uh, need to. Looking for pad 5. It's hard to read the numbers. Uh, I got 0, 1, 0, 2, so pad 5 must be down on the bottom there. So we got, there's 0, 3, there's 0, 5. See it? So we're going to have to go all the way under and then pull back around. I like to just keep that in view there slightly. And uh, we'll just go from the past it. So that we uh, make a decent uh, carrier landing kind of thing. 
I used my top hat button to do a top thruster. missions from going between the different factions. Commodities market. And we're going to sell. We're going to sell everything that's in our cargo. That we took on, which was advanced medicines. So we bought them for fourteen ninety eight. Apparently, uh, they're going to sell for seventeen oh nine. That was supposed to be three hundred credits, uh, if I remember. Um, and we're going to just select that, sell the entire cargo hold, and that's not too bad. Quarter of a million uh, for one run of commodities. They, they don't, you know, make a lot. Now our cargo capacity is down to 32, which is how many limpets we've got in the cargo hold if we want to go out and search for stuff. Come out of the market, pretty much done with looking. Trying to trade back and forth is a very, you know, unless you get really good at this and use Elite Dangerous Database, which is the best way to find the most expensive products in trade, which typically forces you into long distances. If you find anything around 900,000 a million credits go ahead and trade in that but if it's if it's down in the you know eight or nine thousand it's just not worth it most of the time almost every uh, factional commodities trade market between one system and another they're all hardly ever over 10,000 credits per ton which is you know, very poor uh, earning rate per all the really fun stuff is mixed. This would be a fun mission if it had, you know, more tons per hour, but, you know, the marketing people at Frontier, they just hate it when people make too much money too fast. And I don't understand why, because it certainly doesn't prevent people from enjoying the game, and who cares if everybody's got a billion dollars and can buy whatever they want in a in 100 hours instead of waiting years sometimes to get capabilities. It's just ridiculous. There's a lot more to this game that, than just buying ships and outfitting them. And that's really all they're doing when they prevent you from having money. Is it, you can't buy ships and outfit them and fully, fully scale them up. It's part of the ridiculous grinding strategy. It's caused the 
a lot of people that play Elite Dangerous to not enjoy it as much as they could. But they keep coming back because the game is just vast. It's got all kinds of possibilities, but not because of the marketing strategists at Frontier. They they must be really young, young, inexperienced people because they just don't have any sense of customer satisfaction or they just either that or they don't care. I think it's a generational thing. So. All right, let's see if we can dump anything in Universal Cartographics that we've built up over time. Yep, we can get rid of that. 91,000, not a whole lot. That's from using our discovery scanner in every system that we go by. We're gonna go to the mission board now and see what we can pick up between here and Robigo. Uh, we don't want to be the destination. Uh, we want to come across and find stuff that goes back to see us. This may not be anything. The whole availability of missions is kind of Robigo, Robigo, Robigo destinations. So it's all within this system. Oh, that's kind of ridiculous. Reactive armor. Donate, donate, donate. Donate, donate, donate. It's crazy. All donations. CDE. Disable, disable, disable. Oh, it's just poor mission. Well, we didn't expect that. Urbigo Mines is not the place to be, so we need to head back out and find the uh, hub in the system here, Control S, and uh, go wherever the factions are giving better missions. One of the things you learn is that each faction has its own peculiarities, depending on the system. So we want to go over to uh, not Robigo Mines in this case. See if that's any better. Uh, Sir Tanovich's legacy. I've never been there, but uh, I've been to Halls of Reach many times. Let's see how how that pans out. Missions. Select it. See if Halsey's Reach is in our nav panel. Q over. No root set, so we gotta go to the system map now. I mean, the galaxy map. And, uh, no, system map. There would be go. We're gonna select Halsey's Reach. Roots unavailable. Why is that? because I haven't discovered it. Well, let's see if I've got it in a preset. The legal mine, there's one, Halsey's Reach. Just preset that. And it's still not gonna let me plot it out. Okay, I have to do it the hard way. We'll just go and locate it, all the reach in the nav panel. I tab it over, not the transaction, but S down, E over, and look for halters in this system. There it is, all the reach. Uh, it's already locked in. Okay, so we're ready to head out and uh, go to the other station to launch. Sometimes these little pickups can be frustrating, you know, a lot of effort to 
against the marketing community of Frontier, it's a different group of people, and uh, tell them, look, you're going to lose, keep losing our customers to, over to Star Citizen or some other game. We don't make it fun for people, you know, you got to create these missions to where you have a high uh, return on your investment in time. It's ridiculous to hit, do hundreds of hours to get an objective met, you know, maybe 10 or at most. seconds away we'll enter 60% throttle and cruise on down. 75% throttle goes to 6. To maximum velocity, cornering velocity. Area. That's that little blue bar on the right hand side of your speed dial. That blue range is known as a cornering velocity or maximum energy uh, bar. It's where your Maneuvering energy is at its highest. If you go above that, you lose energy. If you go below that, you lose energy. Try to turn. All right, watch that countdown. No, we don't want to get mesmerized. And uh, generally, if you are more experienced, you want to turn to you get your station nose slot down below you and then come up underneath it because they're almost always pointing toward the center of a planet, which really makes it. I think they do that intentionally just to make things hard. The slot tends to point toward the planet. So almost always, it's almost never straight on in the direction you typically come. All right, we're coming up on that 10 second thing, 24 seconds away. Keep the nose down, keep that station slot coming and rotating on up. And uh, again, at 12 seconds or 10 seconds, just drop to 60% by hitting joystick. Six. And uh, I'm just keeping all this reach up at the top of my screen as I rotate down under to Australia and try to get the station slot to come up and face me by the time I get there. So you kind of gauge, uh, I've got 32 light seconds, how fast you'd have to make this rotation because when it hits uh, 1 mn, it's going to have you jump. So this should be good. We'll just hold that position uh, right there. Station slot is facing us now. Uh, as you get closer and closer, it's going to have a jump bar come out. Blue bars on the left for distance and speed are indicators of when you're actually uh, close to the system. Uh, all this reach is down inside where the uh, rings here, which is always in. Very close to the planet. So, uh, surface scanner is now active. We could go and surface scan the whole planet. So, <laughs> I'll show you that in a different video. That's our detailed surface scanner. All right, there's our cue to jump. Jump out. Not too bad in alignment on the station. Got a little lazy there on the end. Keep it up. Woohoo. We're just gonna cruise in to seven kilometers away. Back of the screen. 
if we had one of the auto landers, it would just be taken over about this point. And we're just going to manually find that slot. Manually is much more fun. Speed back up to 100 knots on the, uh, on the uh, speed indicator dial on the right. Again, that's it. pretty close to maneuvering speed here. Again, the blue bar. Maneuvering. Nice maneuvering energy. We have to stay below 100 knots. If we hit somebody on the way in, we'll get a fine. It's just that I love Yamix videos sometimes. He's so funny. I really hope you'll stay in this environment and continue to produce videos. Natural city humor. It's just unbelievable. Natural. Pad 23. Looking for Pad 23. Here is that. 23. 23. 23. C23, C28, here it is, 24. Landing gear deployed. And we're going to come in carrier style, maybe landing style again. Some people like to come in vertically and uh, just go down. I think it's more fun to do carrier. Gears down, crossing the threshold, going to catch the, catch the wires. System. Elvis is leaving the building. Welcome to Hauser's Reach. I'm going to go over and do my refueling first. Repairing and restocking if we had that capability. And uh, go up to the mission board. And hopefully get better missions now. Back to see us. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Sears Corporation is not given anything. Good. No missions available. What's up with that? All disables. Mega turrets, mega turrets, mega turrets. Well, this is just a crappy thing. Everything's changed on us. How ugly Robigo has become. They have nerfed. Or maybe it's just bad timing for the current civil unrest anarchy state that it's in right now. That may be the issue. Just didn't come at the right time. So, well, normally we would head back uh, with a ton of uh, mission cargo, but back to Seos. But this, uh, this current state is not going to let us have anything fun. That's just crappy. Nothing fun. Nothing available. So all we can do is pick up some more cargo. Commodities market. Passenger lounge, we don't have to carry passengers there right now, but let's see if there is anything in a passenger's lounge. Oh, we got our passenger. Is it, where's it going to? I don't think it'll show us. Giant rings. Nothing we can do other than to pick up cargo. We could, uh, since we're in our Python, we could go down and mine on the planet, but I'm not going to do that in this video. It's normally, what I would do is I would, at this point, take my Python down on the planet and just mine. When I get bored and things don't go right, just go mine and sort of relax. But. Uh, the Python right now is not configured with mining lasers. We've got mining equipment on board and refinery, but we have to change out the lasers and send for them to come to this location. Uh, so we, we come all the way out here just to do cargo missions with the Python. Commodities market it is. And uh, again, we'll just have to test, uh, compare the market. We're going to type in uh, search markets. 
search a system. It's going to be CS. This is the ugly way to do it. Be better to do Elite Dangerous Database. Um, profit is sold at whatever, so that was not what I wanted. Suggested markets, and then we're going to find the CS. Uh, Brunel Hub, that's where we're headed back. So we'll apply that. Kids are all over the place this morning. Profit is sold at Brunel Hub. Look to see what's the maximum. It looks like tritium, but I don't think we can pick up any. Uh, 16,530. Ooh, there's gold. Uh, gold might be an interesting. Uh, and there's silver. Heck, let's see if we can get some silver and gold. It says they don't have any, but uh, sometimes that's just fib. Yeah, you can load up silver. Oh well, that's a that's an opportunity. We may have discovered the way to make money off of Robigo selling gold and silver. There's three million dollars there. If we buy it, and it's going to sell for more. Heck yeah. We could get rid of our limpets and store even more. Want to do that? We get rid of the limpets first? <laughs> I don't want to be greedy or anything, but heck yeah, why not? Take advantage of this opportunity. So we go over to advanced maintenance and we dump our limpets to restock. Limpet controller, we hit that and we do D over to minimize. That was A, goes to the left, goes to zero. Confirm that. Uh, so now our controls and limpets are gone. We're back to commodities market. Pick up that silver. We want to buy and buy. That is the most expensive stuff here is the silver. Yeah, make the most credits. Again, if sold at Bruno Hub, that is, uh, again, one way to determine your market. Go and buy as much as you can. Remember, it was offering for 14000 we We're going to get 103 Maybe that's all that's got. Yeah, that's all it has in the capability so we can uh, go get some gold now to fill that up for 10 million and we took all their silk mm -hmm. I don't want to buy cobalt you know it's possible that other commanders have been here and uh, you know, the, the game does interact even though we're in private mode other commanders in public space can impact and take all the silver and gold out of here so yeah, see, there's only nine. Nine available in gold. We'll take all we can. See what the next most is. We got still got cargo, so what's what's the next biggest money maker? Looks like a cobalt, right? Cobalt. At eight. Yeah. Eight thousand credit. Let's load up on cobalt. They got 80. We'll take as much of that as we can take. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. So now we just get interdicted on the way. <laughs> well, that's a uh, serendipitous surprise that we can make maybe four or five million dollars on this run back to uh, uh, to Brunel Hub. And we'll exit. Set up our destination, control G. Type in CEOs. Sometimes you gotta click on the map and come back. CEOs. -E uh, you can see if there's a preset that I've got. And this would be uh, Bruno Hub. Oh, there it is. 
preset off that route. Presets work pretty good. It's only two hops. Oh, check. The nav panel, panel one. Three jumps, destination, CO system. And here we go. Ready to launch. This is exciting. We're going to make some money off of gold and silver commodities, which is rare, instead of missions. Used to be you do this on missions. Missions from one location to the other. Detach confirmed. Watch your oncoming traffic when passing to Seattle. Apparently that was next. Or it's just a bad part of the cycle. I usually don't hit my landing gear when I'm inside, uh, unless I've got real good aim. I know I'm going through the slot. I can do that with a smaller aircraft. But with a bigger Python, it's, the slot's not that good. Quarters right to the right, the center. It fits roughly between the two, right in the middle between half and full of the right. Okay. Pips up to engine the systems, hit tab at the landing gear, hit tab at the Turn it in the direction of the radar dot solid. It's in front of us, if it's dotted, it would be behind us. Continue turning around. Let's get our system up. We'll make sure we're mass lock is gone. And uh, it is, so we're ready to jump. JP. And our first star is going to be an M class star. Remember, KGB phone. Phone is the M is the last letter of that. Which means that we can refuel at the only star. Rest of all all the uh, You really should try a fuel rats mission sometime. They're actually a lot of fun. It's a great organization. People that come out and rescue you. They can be entertaining. The seal hubs and your hub has been disabled. Seal hubs. Seal holes. Okay. Sorry. Alright, hit jump again. Sun is yellow. How we star we cannot refuel at. Always look up and check what kind of star you want to. This is a habit. Make sure you hit your discovery scanner at least sometime in the system before you warp out. I'm trying to talk in a softer tone that won't ping against the uh, microphone too much. It's, uh, it's kind of raspy. I don't yet have a separate microphone. I apologize for that. I'm trying to increase the quality of these videos. I uh, recorded in OBS Studio now. And uh, I've got the settings uh, for the best uh, sound and video. There's one I've got to solve, which is the screen size. It truncates and downsizes a little bit. It's just weird. I'm not quite sure how to solve that. And, uh, my CS is not counting down here. It's greater than a year. Or, I'm 
in poverty and actually on food stamps. I've never done that before in my life. To have had a military career and then end up on food stamps, that's just crazy. And it's all because the aerospace companies, the managers are too young. They won't hire me. Hiring managers say that you intimidate these young managers too much. They're afraid you're going to take over their job. Not going to take over their job. <laughs> I want to do the hardware and building the cool stuff, you know. maker at heart. I still do CRC, laser printing, and build my own drones and CubeSats, and you know, if you look at my other websites, um, uh, YouTube, you'll see how to succeed at whatever, Energy Physics LLC, Energy Physics uh, NSSU, which is the National Space Science University, and NSC, um, Energy Physics uh, in DSU, which is the National Drone Science University, uh, classes and lectures and things that I put on the web. Alright, so we just try to hold this position. The Brunel Hub, keep the slot in our direction. Docking in space bar. So this video will soon be over. We'll be showing you how to make some decent money on gold one trip. Remember how to do that. Head to Robigo. Pick up gold and how to reach the commodity, and hopefully that gold and silver will stay that way as a, as a uh, commodity uh, standard. So, all right, slow to 100 knots. Looking for pad five. Hard to look at it. There's a little dot down there, radar dot down below us. Apparently, there's pad five. Starport services. First, did indeed 8,300 credits. We bought it at the Galactic average. Uh, and it's selling for 12. We bought it at 8 something. Yeah, so 3,000 credit. We're supposed to make 8,000 credit, though. Remember? Remember that? So 
7,000, uh, whatever. Take what you can get. Under a million, it's not too bad. Gold is nine. We bought that at, what, 10? 10,000, we're supposed to make 10,000 credits on it. Um, demand. 10,000 out of nine. Yeah. Uh, let's see, nine. Closer to it is or under or under balance here. Reported the value is not as high as it was claimed to be. So we bought this at fourteen thousand. We were supposed uh, we were supposed to make fourteen thousand on the silver. And uh, sell it forty eight. Supposed to make fourteen hundred times the number. Of, yeah, that's about right. We're supposed to make fourteen thousand for each ton, and uh, we got about a hundred tons. So uh, that's uh, one million four hundred thousand. So it is accurate, at least on the silver. We'll sell that, and I'm slowly building my credits back up. After buying my Python and outfitting it, you know, I had two million or so, two hundred million or so. I never made a lot of money. I'm slowly getting back up to that two hundred million. I went down to almost one hundred and ten million in the balance when I bought the Python and outfitted that. So every time I buy a major or large ship, of course, that cycle goes over again. I got a large number of the smaller ships, and because I enjoy learning how to, you know fly and outfit the smaller stuff and pew pew uh, against the odds and your ship supposedly not as good as the fertile ants or the mamba <laughs> or the anyway yeah they are they're fun it's all about skill level you know it's not really about how you outfit your ship although you do need to have them all g5 rated because you know, it's just a huge disadvantage when your ship's not fully outfitted with the maximum firepower, armor protection you can get. Hull tanking is the name of the game. Learn how to hull tank if you're going to get into pew pew combat. Okay, commanders, that's uh, the lesson for the day. How to make some gold and silver. Started out hoping that we could have missions doing the same. Typically the missions back and forth between Robigo and Cos used to be hauling gold and silver as missions, but now it's, it's been nixed, unless it's just a different phase of the commodity background simulation. I'm not sure. So I hope you enjoyed it. And fly safe, commanders, and until the next time. P to leave the game. Like that, P to leave the game. Up to the desktop.